जयपुर अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत जस्ट गिव मी सेकेंड आई एम जस्ट रीडिंग द रन आउट इन द स्क्रिप्ट ऑफ द शो ओके I now know what to ignore. Hello and welcome to Cricket Buzz Live. I'm Gaurav Kapoor with me today, returning from yesterday to lose the guessing game, Mr. Harsha Bhogle. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect the sledge to come so soon, no? Even I didn't plan it. It, it wasn't came. a sledge. It sounded more like a plea, saying, "Please do it again, like oh, after yesterday." Nice, nice. <laughs> hey guys, just keep that win percentage handy. Huh? I may need to use it a few times in the you know, show. This is this is like a kid because who gets, I have not. This is like a kid who gets pocket money and then starts. <laughs> okay. Truly, <laughs> did you I, win again yesterday? Yeah, I'm on a 75. No, no, he lost first, and we let him win the second because let anyway, him. it's okay. Let him. He let me win the second. You know how he wins? There's some uh, overthrow somewhere. Something hits a stump, then goes somewhere. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, I gotta admire one thing. There's much to admire about Mr. Bogle, but I tell you, the quality I admire the most at this point in time, the sheer arrogance in defeat. <laughs> so I love this. <laughs> And of course we have Simon Dool here who has returned from his travels uh travels to the hotel room the hotel I think putting your feet up the golf course it's the best kind of travels man it's perfect it's perfect best. travels it's yeah. the best been nice actually it's walking a walking around the city getting my fitness in yeah that's good been nice actually that's good very good uh well uh i hope uh, well the good thing is that you of course as a bowler didn't have to see what happened day before yesterday <laughs> <laughs> a bit of what happened yesterday uh, but as is i like doing this uh, i like doing it when we start just kind of reflect on the macro points of yesterday i think the good thing that happened with bowling those first 10 overs that were bowled and khalil ahmed bowling 3 overs for 9 runs in the power play love seeing a bit of that in this slam bang game yeah and i said i think before game number one i like what khalil has um at times he's just maybe looked to do a little bit too much with what his skill set is and um it was nice to see him he look As a bowler you are going to have bad days. You just have to accept that in this tournament at some stage you're going to get met unless you are a genuine Rashid Narine who we'll talk about later on I'm sure but you know very few guys have a tournament where they will have 14 terrific games. You know if you can have half your games, eight games. That's brilliant. As a, that's you've done your job. Yeah. yeah. You know you're going to go for more than 40. Yeah. probably half of the games or, or at least maybe 30 35% of the game so just accept that it's going to be tough also the advantage if you're Khalil is you get to bowl 3 in the power play mm. you don't bowl 1 and wait till the 14th yeah oh, <laughs> oh it's an early dig as well boom <laughs> We've come out with a boxing glove strapped today, haven't we? Uh, but uh, I have to ask you, Harsha. The other day, a brilliant conversation after the match with Virat. You had a really good point. You noticed. You told me you, it, he seemed very chill. He seemed very, you know. He seemed very relaxed about life. He talked about the fact that he's 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 got two children. His he didn't say his priorities were changing because I think he's far too focused and committed mm-hmm. to be a cricketer. But it does change. I mean, the game is over. We're waiting for the presentation to start. and there is virat kohli doing on 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 facetime you could tell he was talking to a child yeah by the expression he was making so you know it it does change i've i've had two kids you know how life changes once yeah. one, once you've got two kids uh and 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 he's quite chilled but he's hungry he wants to play yeah and he hit eight boundaries in the uh, in the power play he's charging rabada and then he just lets it slip maybe what well, i still have it Yeah, or well, yeah. listen. I don't think anyone can ever doubt. I can tell you this that uh, the kind of commitment that guy has and I've been seeing him since he was a young lad. The kind of commitment he has. He till the day he walks out to bat, he's not going to give you even 1% less than 110, right? And you can tell that, Dooley, even watching him. You can tell that the, the day the guy feels he's 99, he's going to hang those boots up. Yeah, well, I said the other night after the first game that you you look at him that you know that one thing that would not have gone missing even though he had that time away was his fitness. Yeah. He would have been in the gym or doing something fitness wise every day. He may not have been hitting the balls. Yeah. He may not have been in the nets as much as he would have wanted leading into the tournament. But I guarantee you he was do- he was in the gym or he was going for a run or he was doing something whether it be yoga whatever it is that keeps him fit. Yeah. He was doing it because he is that committed to the cause. 
And then when he got into the camp, obviously he would have hit as many balls as anyone, if not more than anyone. But it doesn't substitute for game time. Mm. He looked a little bit rusty, but as Harsh said, he didn't only face six balls in the power play yeah. in game one. So you can afford him a little bit of rustiness. Yeah. But he was on song in the game number two, and he was so gutted yeah. when he got out. He, was. He, he, said, uh, he said to you, I think, yeah. he said, it was there to go. It was there to hit, and I just sliced it a little bit. Yeah. But he played, you know, he played beautifully, played brilliantly. Inside that power play, that's all we're asking is for players in that power play to be a little more aggressive, and he was, he was brilliant. Yeah, and aggressive doesn't necessarily just mean sixes. Fours, one after the other, mm. can be aggressive as well. Because remember, hitting a four also is a 400 strike rate, right? Yeah. Uh, well, okay, let's... But he did, uh, I'll, I'll pick up one too. When, yeah. when, I, when I saw Virat, he didn't look like a West Delhi boy eating Chole Bhature again. So even though he was, he was on paternity leave... Yeah. <laughs> I'm absolutely he's certain no he was working He's got out. no chill. Yeah. There's no cheat days. Yeah. There's no, no, no like, exactly. oh man, I'm on holiday for a little while. Let me let loose. He's a, just a really bad example, mm. you know. Just a really <laughs> bad example. <laughs> you're supposed to let go when you're on holiday. Eat the odd samosa. No, but not for him. All right, uh, today what's going to happen, the match is happening again at Chinnaswamy. This is their second game. They're playing three in a row at home. And they'll be hoping that they can extend this bizarre streak of uh, Simon being inhospitable of all the home teams been <laughs> to every visiting team just home teams winning and we spoke about this before the show began there's no discernible home team advantage anymore so it's it's not that it's just a freak occurrence yeah it is a little bit of a freak occurrence it's also that uh, you know a couple of the away sides have had very good opportunities to win yeah. and haven't been able to cross yes. the line I think about Gujarat and um, Hyderabad Hyderabad two very good opportunities both games should have won uh, and, and just couldn't get across the line. Now, that was their own fault. It wasn't that the home team had played specifically better, but I think in most occasions, the home team's just been a better side. They've just played a better game. So I don't see any major home advantage. We haven't seen any surfaces, pitches that have been prepared specifically for the home teams. It's just been the home team has yeah. been a little bit better on, I think, probably seven of the occasions. I mean, yeah. it, it seems like a, like a statistical impossibility, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think that... It's home advantage with respect to, say, making the kind of pitches you want mm. that puts the other team in uh, in a difficult situation. I I actually think it's just happened. Yeah. As and as Julie says, on the day that team played better, yeah. I think it just happened. Yeah. Also, is it fair to say that whatever the surface is now, right, all the teams have the ammunition to exploit yeah. whatever the surface gives you? Absolutely. And, and the impact sub has made a difference in that realm as well. You can go in with an extra spinner. You can go in with an extra seamer. You can have an extra batter. All of these things have, have made a difference. And, you know, second year in, we're seeing that impact substitute having a little bit more of an effect, I think. Yeah. I think that's one of the one of the key areas. Yeah, they're and really using some of the teams are using the impact sub very very creatively. Interested to see what uh, these two do with the teams today. Uh, Shreya Sair has won the toss and decided to field first. I just want to point out I'm on the Crickbuzz app and I'm sure Harsha has noticed this as well because he can speak and read the Crickbuzz app at the same time. Are you seeing what Shreya has said at the end as well? What has Shreyas said? Shreyas has said that, uh, we're asked about the team. Uh, first of all, he <laughs> said, my role is to play the anchor role. And uh, we're, you know, we're in high spirits. And you had a brief chat with the curator. She was like, the ball will spin as well. Which kind of looked like in the first game yeah. in Chinnaswamy. It looked like it was just holding up a bit. But he said that, I'm seriously confused. There are two teams given to me. And I'm seriously confused. Batting team, bowling team. So he says, Anukul subs. comes in, but there are two teams. So is Anukul in the team or is he not in the team? He is in the team. Let I'll show you. Well, here it is. They're going to be bowling first. So, there you go. Anukul uh, is there. It would be very uncool if Shreyas mentioned him and he was not in the team. So, what don't Chakra... So, so it's not being appreciated, you know. But anyway. Phil Salt, Venkatesh Ayer, Shreyas Ayer, uh, Rinku Singh, Andre Russell, Ramandeep, Anukul Roy, Harshit Rana... Uh, bowled that brilliant over against uh, Hyderabad and snatched the win for the Knight Riders. You know who's not in? Sunil Narayan, Mitchell Stark, Varun Chakravarti. Nitish Rana. Yep, uh, so Nitish Rana's Rana going to be the, the impact sub. He'll be the impact sub. He'll come, come in and bat. Well, will he? Is he in the impact sub? Well, let's, we'll have a look. Uh, yeah. One second. We'll just see it here. Will he be? Or maybe he's got a niggle because he is little, not in no, the impact sub. There's a little rumour from the, from the ground that maybe uh, Angrish Raghuvanshi might get an opportunity with mm, the bat okay. when it comes their turn to bat. There you bat. go. Uh, yeah. Under-19 World Cup, you saw him sign. Yeah. You said Angrish Raghuvanshi, uh, Veva Varora, Manish Pandey, Suya Sharma. Uh, yeah, well, no Nitishrana here as well. So perhaps 
Yeah. And one game, they're not the kind of team. One game, former captain for them. I don't think they'd sit him out after one game. Must be a niggle. Or yeah, it must be in some be. sort. It has yeah. to be. Yeah, it has to be. They're going to be bowling first, of course. Let's have a look at uh, the Bangalore team as well. Uh, they're going to be batting first. Uh, and that means there's a lot of people rushing through the turnstiles <laughs> in Chinnaswamy <laughs> right now. The ones that got late in traffic are like, let me through. Oh, the ones Kohli. that got late in traffic in Bangalore would say it's just another day. Just exactly. No and which is why they need to get in quick because Virat and Fafa are going to come out to bat. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so Rajat Patidar at three. It's an important game for him. He, yes. with, you know, blue chip stock, which has kind of underperformed a little bit in the last few games, including mm. this and uh, India Colors. Uh, then, of course, Glenn Maxwell, uh, Cameron Green, Dinesh Karthik. Uh, he did well in the previous game. Anuj Rawat did well in the first uh, game. And then they've got their bowlers, Mohammad Siraj Alzari, Joseph Mayang Dagar, uh, and uh, Yash Deyal. Let's have a look at the impact subs as well, because they will get. Uh, a bowler in, in perhaps in uh, the second half uh, of the game. Mahipal Lomror, Karan Sharma, Suyash Prabhu Desai, Swapnil Singh, Vijay Kumar, Vishak. Probably, probably see how the pitch goes uh, and then. This is interesting. Mm. So they are opting to go in with the bowler. That was their batting side, right? Yes. yes. That was RCB batting side. Yeah. What they did the other day was they bowled with that side, used Cameron Green and Maxwell mm. to bowl four overs, and brought in Lomror as a sub to increase the batting. Yeah. They could do that today as well. But they're batting first. Exactly. So they could do it. So they could if get, wickets fall, yeah. just like they get, did Robin Powell more. and Andre yeah. yeah. yesterday. So let's look at that side. Yeah. Is there a batter who after he gets out, they just send away. Hmm. Hmm. So they send off Rajat Pati. Send off Rajat Pati. Get, get, get yes. Lomro in yeah. and yep. extend their batting. And yep. they have enough bowling with Dayal Dagger, Joseph Siraj, Green they, and Maxwell. Yeah, but in this team itself, they could have included Lomro for Yash Dayal in this team. Yeah. And brought Yash Dayal in as the sub when they're bowling. But, but then they don't have the yeah. flexibility. Then they don't have the flexibility because yeah, they can also bring Karan Sharma in if yeah. it turns if a little. Turning. If, it, it's, if turning. it's turning yeah. a bit, Correct. they can bring Correct. Karan Sharma yeah. in as well for that second inning. So they're probably. They've got all bases covered. Exactly. So at this point in time, yeah. they can bring in a batter or they can bring in a spinner or a yeah. quick bowler. Vishak. Right? There's Vijay Kumar Vishak yeah. there as well. So exactly. they can pretty much see how it's playing yeah. out. So This yeah. is what we saw yesterday with Robin Powell, for yeah. example. Mm. Ready to come into bad bat, yeah. but then Ashwin went and did something new. So yeah. they didn't need him to bat. You know, I I want to see the, can we see the KKR innings if you do a team, if you don't The mind. KKR team? Yeah, but there's something very interesting in that KKR team because yeah. of what Simon just said. Ankrish Raghuvanshi, yep. uh. we're hearing that he might play. He's an opener, isn't he? Correct. So if he plays, he plays as an opener, doesn't he? Uh, and therefore... One sec, one sec, one sec. Are you asking us to guess the Knight Riders opening combination? <laughs> therefore, there's going to be another change in the opening combination. Well, there has been one game with one opening mm. combination. It's due for a change. After seeing leading, last season. I know it's your favourite topic. I was just leading you into I, it's, I, I just found it like <laughs> last year. We, it literally was like winning the lottery. Trying to predict <laughs> the Knight Riders opening it, it, combination. It was, because what did they do? I think they had seven in it eight It was like predicting the winning score. Sometimes you get it right and you get very excited about it. and It's a bit like that. So o I'm predict saying, the opening combination. I just found out my director who is... Uh, he doesn't even need to look the facts up because he's a Knight Riders fan. Has said... What was that again? 13 in the last... Okay, 13 combinations in the last two seasons. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, it's, that's a lot. It, it's, it's too many. Yeah. It's far too many. And if your combination is not right for game one or is right for game one, then it should be right for game two and three as well. But that's where they've gone wrong. They've just, you know, whether it be Narayan at the top, whether it be Venkatesh, they've got Phil Salt now. Mm. They've had some players come and go, Gurbaz, obviously. So there's been a whole heap of combinations yeah. in and around. But... They just, they've got to find a settled combination and yeah. give them some games. Otherwise, it just gets confusing for everybody. I'm trying yeah. to see who their backup for Nitish Rana was. Maybe did they buy Manish Pandey for that reason? Mm -hmm. And so would Manish Pandey also be an option? Yeah, possibly. Sh should they need... Uh, because they don't have uh, they don't have another option. I'm just going through uh, going through that squad. Let's bring the let's bring the Kolkata team up again right now. They're bowling first, of course. So in terms of their bowling, yes, they have Mitchell Stark, Harshit Rana. Uh, they've got Sunil Narayan, Varun Chakravarti, Andre Russell, uh, Venkatesh Iyer didn't bowl in the first game. We got Anukul Roy. So the right? one player they would have liked to come in, unfortunately, is an overseas player, which is Sharfin Rutherford. Mm. Yeah. So but they can't bring him. So the Indian batting options they have in their entire squad. Uh, Manish Pandey and Ankrish Raghuvanshi, both of whom are in the uh, are impact yeah. subs for mm -hmm. Nitish Rana. Yeah. Uh, there's, of course, uh, the bowlers there. There's uh, Weber Varora. There's Suyash. Both, both the teams have a Suyash in their impact subs. You're not going there again, are you? No, just we spoke about it. It's, it's, 
it's such an unusual name for two teams to have one each in their impact subs of five people. It, it is a, it's a freak occurrence for sure. All right, there's a few occurrences that will happen on the field today which people are looking out for. And you know, you go for the, this is the problem. Everybody goes for the low hanging fruit. They're like, oh, it's Virat Kohli and Gautam Gambhir. That's all day before's news. Let's talk about today's news, right? Mm -hmm. There is a very interesting battle that I want to see. I don't even know if it'll happen or not. I want to see Yash Tayal bowl to Rinku Singh. I want to see how his mentality is. I want to see what he does. I want to see him bowl a sizzling Yorker, toe crush on Rinku's feet and make Rinku kind of lose his balance a bit. I'd like that for the drama. The drama of it. Um, if the battle comes late in the game or late in the innings, I think that'll be the one to watch out for if it's sort of, you know, over 17, 18, 19, something like that. Look, teammates obviously at, at uh, domestic level, yeah. so they know each other very well. Yeah. But um, he's been quite open, Yashtel, about the, the, the incident, the over that everyone talked about with yeah. that sort of set Rinku's career. In, in, it, yeah, yeah into, into going that way, into the stratosphere. So he's been very open about the fact that um, he, he looked at uh, social media afterwards. He probably shouldn't have. He was warned not to, but yeah. I don't know a player harsher that doesn't. Um, I, I <laughs> shouldn't. They, none of them should. They shouldn't, but they do. Yeah, they all do. Yeah. They shouldn't, but they do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he mentioned it, in fact, uh, there was a quote that he had after the previous uh, game and he said that. He said the problem began when the match was over. I was told, told not to go on social media, but I ended up checking it. Uh, and I fell ill, because that kind of negativity, it can, yeah. it yeah. can. And he had a fever, he had mm. a fever, I Absolutely. know. Absolutely, like and he days. should have got on the line to Quena Mapaka day before yesterday, mm. saying, I've been here, do not go on social media, Quena, do not go. Yeah, I don't, but can I be honest with you? I don't, I mean, I, I was scrolling it as well. There wasn't so much, he's a kid, he's in, you know, played under 19, etc. Like you said, he's brought his study books with him. Doesn't, uh, you know, he went for runs, but then everybody did, right? Mm. But I think it's that fair to game, say he it, never. it was the context of where that over was bowled. Correct. Where it became, you know, even more dramatic than it did. Uh, and the fact that it was happening in Ahmedabad, and you know the home crowd, etc., got after, and people do it. And yeah. with Mufaka, I'm looking at all clear. you. I'm looking at you trolls. Yeah. All right, stop it, stop it, man. It's tough out there. Just stop it. It's, yeah, cool. You you make the memes and you have your fun, but I think that personal attacks is where it should yeah. stop. And there's just way too many that mm. come. To, yeah. to, to but they're, they're nobodies as well. They're nobodies. Yeah. I mean, I, I I expose the odd one. Yeah. You know, especially if they get uh, very rude and ignorant. Yeah. You expose the odd one, mm. but. You know, are what are you going to get by exposing? He knows it already. Yeah, exactly. But you know, that's what they, that's what they want. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that contest, if it comes early, we've seen so far Yash Dayal yeah. in his first three overs has been excellent. Brilliant. Not as good at the death. Yeah. So if that contest is again at the death, as Simon said, mm -hmm. then it might be advantage Rinku. If it's early on, he's swinging it beautifully. You, you know, you think of left arm swing bowlers. Mm -hmm. Dooley knows everything about swing, so I'll keep it very short. They swing it that way, away from the left-hander. Mm. This guy's swinging it this way such a lot and it's beautiful to watch. He's bowling well. Yeah, uh, there's another, you're talking about having this mentality of steel. There's uh, another gentleman who was not a steel at the auction, <laughs> Mitchell Stark, <laughs> right? And he's going to be a little steely because the other day, uh, Klassen had his phone number on speed dial. And this is what, you know, I've talked about this. It doesn't matter whether you are a young Gwena Mpaka um, Mapaka, you, or whether you're Mitchell Stark. Yeah. The, 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 the pressure is still there. Mitchell Stark's getting paid the most money in that case. He's taking a third of their budget. <laughs> yeah, a fourth, yeah. One, but, or one fourth of their yeah. budget, is it's, it now? It's, it's a bit like this room. With, well, with exactly, with GK. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the pressure is on him. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many games of international cricket you've played. And he actually hasn't played a lot of international T20 no. cricket. Hasn't played a lot of T20 cricket, full yeah. stop. Yeah. So the pressure is on. He hadn't been here until twenty or since 2015 yeah. prior to this. So you look at the amount of games he's played compared to other bowlers around the world, it's very little. Mm. You know, they, they keep him away from this in an Australian point of view, maybe a T20 World Cup, that's about it. So he is under an enormous amount of pressure. He's mm. getting paid a huge amount of money and it's not easy. And if the ball's not swinging for him, he finds it even more difficult. Guys know that he's only really got two options. Yeah. And he tries to swing the ball up front or he bowls those cutters at the back end. He doesn't use his bouncer well. He never has. I've been, I've been critical of his lack of use of the bouncer on so many occasions, and particularly in one-day cricket. You've got to let... At 150, 
he's got to let batters know that it's up his sleeve. Yeah. In the first over of a, of a one-day international, I just about guaranteed every ball is pitched up and looking to swing. Yeah. And, and he's got rip a bouncer through. He's got and, the option of bowling too. Exactly. And at his weapon. base, he can do yeah. like what Nandri Burger did yesterday. He could Mitchell Stark could very well be the DJ who makes yeah. the batter dance, right? Uh, With the bouncer. You brought up a great example. I actually think I watched the footage again. I think he did Mitch Marsh about for pace. Mm. He's gone through an Aussie batter who's learned his cricket in Perth. Yep. He's gone through an Aussie top order batter for pace. And I think Stark can actually do that. Mm. Mm. But he should let rip. And I think if he does, him to Kohli is going to be a fabulous battle, battle uh, to watch. I'd love to see a first ball bouncer. Because everybody, everybody out there thinks mm. that the first ball from Mitch Stark is going to be a Yorker or a very full ball trying to swing it back into a right-hander. Yeah. You know, you've got Faf, you've got um, Virat. Yeah. You, you know what he's going to try and do. If it's if his first ball, if Coley takes strike, I'd love to see one right at the badge. Yeah. yeah. Rattle but, the cage a little oh, bit. Just, Come yeah. on. Because everybody will be surprised by it. Yeah. I yeah. guarantee you everybody will be surprised by it. But will it happen? I if, if, I doubt it. 2015 is also the last time that Bangalore defeated the Knight Riders at home in yes. Chinnaswamy. Mm. I thought you, when you said 2015, I thought you were talking about that ball from Stark to McCullum. So. <laughs> oh, I oh, that we're ball. not even talking about that. I remember I, that ball because why, I... Why are we talking about that? Dooley knows. I mean, talking about that is a bit like talking <laughs> about 19th of November for all us uh, Indian fans, point, right? Yeah. But I got to tell you, because I was rooting for New Zealand. That's no surprise. I mean, most <laughs> Indians have New Zealand as their number two team. And that one ball, when we saw it against, uh, against Baz, mm. and you were like, nah, man, <laughs> it's... It's done. Was that the furthest anyone's been down the ground to be bowled? Down oh, the probably. But I forget that. We'll 2015. <laughs> yeah. funny, the, other, funny, the other 2015. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Funny, funny stat about that World Cup. I mean, everybody talks about how Brendan McCullum set that. He faced an average of less than 20 balls what do you mean? per innings in that whole World Cup. Yeah. That's, that's an impact, huh? That's an impact. Yeah. But, you know, you think about the England game at Eden Park. You think about what he did. He faced less than 20 balls on average per innings in that whole World Cup. Yeah, wow. But had a massive impact. Amazing. Crazy. Just want to also want, want to point out that maybe Anukul Roy has come in because uh, Bangalore the other day was struggling against Harpreet Bharat. Could be. Yeah, could, could be, be that. You saw house. that, so maybe it mm -hmm. can be used. Remember, this is not the 210-220 graveyard for bowlers, Chinnaswamy, not after the first game. Not just that, you always need that left-arm spinner in. You see a lot of batters, their numbers change, their strike rate numbers change against slow left-arm yeah. spin. Yeah. So you must have a slow left-arm spin in your team most days. Yeah. They've got Varun Chakravarti, Suyash Sharma, Sunil Narayan, neither answers that description. Mm, correct. So maybe they've told Suyash, just hang in there. You're, you're not yet a Chehel. Yeah. Leggy at RCB, not easy. Mm. Let's get the left-arm finger spinner in. And, and then let's see. I, I, I'd like to see at what stage they bring him in. Can I say something? Yes. I think, to answer your question, I predict one over in the power play him bowling against Virat. I'm so be. curious to see. You know, there's a very interesting... We were talking to Dooley about Virat in the power play. Yeah. In the first game, as you mentioned, he gets six balls. That innings, he's 21 of 20 balls or something like that. Yeah. Next time, he says, no, I don't like that. He's charging the bowlers. He's hitting eight fours. Mm. In the power plays, at eight boundaries. Yeah. What is Kohli sending out? What Messi is sending out? Do I want to be an opener and max the power play? Yeah. Mm. Do I want to be a number three? In which case, oh, hang on. The whole thing is completely different. Yeah. Virat as opener in the power play versus Virat batting at three are two different entities. Both look the same. They're two different entities. Yeah. So if Virat continues to bat, like, say he takes down Stark today. Are you going to start thinking Virat opening batter? Well, we, it has. Does he want before. to see himself like I mean, that yeah. too? It has happened before. Rohit and Virat have opened for India in T20 cricket. That has happened before. Uh, but you know whether he's opening, whether he's at number three. There's another guy who could be at number four, and that's Shreya Sayer, the the Kolkata captain. And today he has said at the toss, he said that my role is that of an anchor in this team, which is very interesting because you don't know if that role exists in T20 it, anymore. It doesn't exist. Ask him. I, I think Ask him. Do you, do you want to get Dooley Tower right, anchors? We we'll just go for a walk in. There come. you go. <laughs> I think he's plucked that out of no. I, why is he saying that? Hmm. His role is there. not anchor. He's not equipped to be an anchor. In T20 cricket. In fact, he's, he's got the game to be the striker. He's yeah. an aggressive player by nature. Yeah. And he loves to take the bowlers on. Yeah. Where's he pulled that from? Yeah. And who's 
told him, I mean, if anybody's told him to say that, then they've got rocks in their head as well. It's bad advice. You've got an Ask CB Life question, which I just want to bring out right now because we're talking about you. Sorry, were you? Is there a role for an anchor? I'm just going to go out and go have a bite and come. <laughs> which Shreyas and Ishan both uh, losing central contacts. Their first performance was a duck. Well, that's, uh, who is it? Feed, treat, educate. All right, that's pretty noble. Uh, their first performance was a duck. If they both don't have a good IPL, do you think their past performance will be in consideration for any national duty? Well, then the IPL will become past performance. Yeah, you've got to pick on form. Yeah. Uh, and, and this tournament is, look, it's still, it is the best gauge. It is the best T20 domestic tournament worldwide, hands down, second to none, four overseas players. You're playing best on best. This is where you get judged. Hmm. And, and the, the form in this tournament will be the judge of what, the Indian selectors do. I mean, you know, 90% of it will be judged on your performance here, unless yeah. you are an absolute shoe in already. Yeah. I, I mean, that's how I would feel. So if they don't have a good tournament, I'd say they're gone. Yeah, and, and it is. Yeah, and remember, nice. India only have four batting spots to fill True. In, the, in the first 11. Mm -hmm. Because you want your all-rounder and your keeper at five and six, and then you want your spin bowling all-rounder at seven. So you only have four batting slots to fill. Yeah. And Ishan Kishan and Shreya Sayer are competing with about 300 people. That's true. <laughs> for, those first, yeah. for those four slots. That's yeah. true. That's true. There's yeah. just a lot of batting options uh, for India. So who do they uh, go with? Well, there's two other gun players I want to quickly touch upon, talk about. Sunil Narayan playing his 500th T20 game. <laughs> Or is that a joke? You, have, I, you haven't even hosted 500 T20 games I, in your no, life, right? No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. This, he's played 500 T20 games. Phenomenal. That's insane. Yeah, look, it's phenomenal. I mean, the, the longevity. Um, yeah, you might say he's a spin bowler. He doesn't have to run in and bowl fast. But it just the, the longevity of his career and to continue to do what he does at such a high level is phenomenal. These numbers are just absolutely, they blown me away when I saw these earlier today yeah. when we got our running order through. Yeah. Not one season above eight. Shocking. And on average, I think it's just under seven. Yeah, but, and look at it. And, and it's, they're pretty full seasons, right? Yeah. Almost all of them are full. Leave aside two, yeah. 2015, a few games less than 16. But otherwise, he's had very full seasons. This is not a small sample size. <sighs> no. This is just no, he plays, he plays every time. Yeah. And he just comes in. In, in his peak years, around that 15, 14, 15, 16, mm. 17 there, I still remember we used to say, KKR bat 20 overs, the opposition only gets to bat 16. Yes, yeah, that's true. Because yeah. his four overs, you just did not score off yeah, them. Yeah. Then he had those issues, he had to come back. He went through a little dip when he had to correct his action and came back. Yeah. Now he's not playing international cricket. Uh, the pressure is probably off him. Mm. And maybe that's contributing to his uh, to a second wind almost. Mm. That day, on that surface, with Klaassen and Russell mm. trying to hit the ball into the Hooghly, he was four overs of 19. Yeah. In a, in a game where there was, what was it, 410 plus runs. Mm. Right? Millions of runs. They were, they were scoring 65 of 25 balls. Yeah. And there's four this guy 19. just doing his bit and again and again. And he's just so cool. Yeah. He'll just come in, he'll cool, no reaction. He, he went for a second run that wasn't there. He just coolly strolled back, run out by two yeah, yards, yeah. just walked back. <laughs> yeah. Nothing is not completely yeah, I think not maybe, maybe you can play more games when you don't smile off round. Yeah. Like that saves you some energy. <laughs> you think so, yeah. Right? The, kinda... the, and the remodeling as well. Like the, the, the way he holds the ball behind yeah. his back now. Yeah. Uh, so he used to, maybe there was a little tell in the old days when uh, he, he was coming into bowl. There was a little tell whether he went basically, the thumb went back was always going to be that one. If the thumb stayed out, it was going to be the one that went away. Now he's behind his back. It's very difficult to pick up. Yeah. So, yeah. And the other thing is, because he puts it deep in his hand for that off spinner, it actually turns. Yeah. He gets as much turn on an off spinner as pretty much anyone in the tournament. Yeah. So that, because his length is so impeccable, it makes him very, very difficult to play. Gun player, gun player. And today he will be tested because uh, look at the batters he's up against. Virat, Faf. Cameron Green, Rajat Patidar, uh, Glenn Maxwell, DK, Anuj. It's a very good batting lineup uh, that they have over there. What can he do? Mm, can he pull it back? Can he not? Let's do our score guesses now. Come on. Chinna Swami. Go on. Sir. RCB batting first. I, I think the guy who's promoting himself yeah. the most yeah. should start first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll do Green it. is the word I was searching for, but I thought I'd be. Looking. What? 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 Were you no, searching? Go ahead. One, I'm going 191. Ooh, it's going high. Yeah, yeah. They'll get it. They'll get it. Okay, I'm not going to leave Harsha much room. I'm going to go 182. 182. I think I'll go 190. What? <laughs> 190? 
<laughs> he's not actually he's not left himself any room at all. No. That's crazy. It doesn't matter. I'm just giving you a break. You get no. one you get no, 187 go, to 190 no, no, no. basically to win. No. Uh it's the same surface yeah. that they're using. So Shorty I think it'd be about a 180 180 ki- kind of surface. Will you go 175? Is that what you're going? I can read mm. you. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Chalo. Yeah. 175. Yeah. Okay. So he's going 175. Uh, I've sort of pushed him into 175 <laughs> and he's taken it. 175, 182, 191. Do you know what? I think you are the one who has the highest chance today, given that surface. Thank you. Never know. Mm. Never know what happens. Yeah. This is RCB. They can give us a 150, 160 as well. According to the pitch report, the spinners might come into play, especially and first up. And there's a lot of spinners. Yeah. You never know. It might be 182 and then someone will bowl a no ball and a free hit. They'll hit a six and they'll come closer to you. I mean, as long as it's part of legal play, <laughs> right? It's all that matters, That's isn't it. it? Okay, we have a we have a joy factor question for you. Uh, joy is not here, but he left us some questions. And this one, look at this. You know what he does? <laughs> the longest questions are when somebody else has to read them out. <laughs> longest, all-time leading scorer of his nation's cricket league. This player has played for Mumbai, Hyderabad, and another franchise for which he jointly holds a partnership record. Name him. Is this the Hyderabad in India or the Hyderabad in Pakistan? With joy, you never know. That's mm. right. I just. But there I... is no Hyderabad and Pakistan team in the PSL. Maybe there was in some other domestic league. You don't know these days. There's so many leagues you can't count them. No, he's played for Mumbai and he's played for Hyderabad. Yeah. Question, please. Sir, just this is studious people, na? I tell you, go for it. Yeah, you good? You got it. People can see it again. You got it. No. Send in your answers no. on X. Hashtag Crickbuzz Live. Hashtag Joy Factor. You can send in your answers there. All right. So uh, here's the news from Chinnaswamy. Uh, Kolkata has won the toss and decided uh, to chase. Uh, so Bangalore is going to come out and bat first. We'll uh, have a little stock check of where their batting effort is at the end of 10 overs on Crickbuzz Combox. So uh, do join us then. Big thank you to Simon Dool and Harsha Bhogle. Thank you, Simon, gentlemen. Thank you. It's uh, sushi time now. Sushi time. <laughs> I'm Gaurav Kapoor. You were watching Crickbuzz Live. <laughs> दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन एक्सप्रेस नेताजी